Hey guys, what's going on? It's Billy from Bill Maru Toy Canics here. I just wanted to say I love you guys. Uh, I wanted to give something back to you guys as, as you've given so much to me with your support, with your repairs. I've been doing this for a little over 10 years now and I've picked up more steam, more word of mouth. Um, some really big reviewers out there are some of my best friends uh, in this toy community. And uh, what I wanted to get to, because I'm rambling, is I wanted to show you guys how to do the McFarlane thigh swivel and add more articulation. This I actually did in the video, and I also did this Batman in the video too. So I'm going to show you how to do the thigh mod on both of these because they are different. Um, I'm also going to show you how to add articulation to the necks and abdomens of them, and uh, I think you're going to learn something. Uh, you'll notice there is no ads here. There's no monetization. I, I honestly, I'm not about that. Um, I don't do this for the money. Uh, I do get paid for my services, but I would never charge you for information. I would never charge you for education. I, I believe that education should always be free, and uh, even though I'm still paying on a student loan. But this is just kind of my way of hopefully giving back to you guys. I'd like to do more like this. Um, but most of it's on my Instagram, uh, which you can see the little uh, tag, my little name right, right here. Uh, check me out on there. And, uh, you know, if you learn something, I'd love to see your success stories. Tag me. I'm always making myself available. If you want to chat, if you have a question about a repair, if you want to do it yourself and you don't want me to do it, that doesn't offend me. Um, guys, I'm here to teach. That's what I want to do for you guys. So with all that jibber jabber i'm gonna get right to it so as you can see we have the joker and the batman from the white knight series from mcfarlane i've got two fresh razor blades here um i only use a fresh razor blade per thigh cut um meaning per figure so one razor blade here one razor blade here the reason why is because i don't really have the most expensive of razor blades so I like to make sure that the cut is going to go through nice and smooth, nice and clean because they can get blunt very quick. Um, and even the slightest bit of bluntness can really mess up your cut. Um, the first thing you want to do here is I'm going to do this in real time. Uh, I usually would, I'll cut a little bit, but the reason why I want to do this in real time is to show you just how long this can take. Um, for removing the legs, what you want to do first, I take a tiny little screwdriver like so, and this requires no heat at all. You can just go in from the side like this. And there's one. Just kind of go in, remove it, and there's two. And let's see if Joker's the same. The reason why I'm doing both of these is I thought it'd be cool to do the pair, uh, you know, Joker and Batman. Here, let's make him, let's make him Joker. There we go. Now, okay, now it's just creepy. He's looking at me. Um, the reason why I wanted to do these two as well is because they're two different sizes of legs, um, which can really, you know, change the process up a little bit. I actually haven't perform this on this Joker yet. I have done two of the Batman figures. This is actually my personal Batman uh, and my personal Joker. So I figured I would give you guys a free tutorial. You'll notice there, there should be no ads. There's no monetization. Um, I don't do this for the money. Uh, I do get paid, but I also give free advice, free videos, free tutorials. I believe education should always be free. And especially with the amount of money that we pay for action figures. I don't think you should have to pay a terrible lot more. Now, if you want a mod or whatnot, then, you know, that, yes, that's a little more. But uh, I do charge for my services, but I don't charge for education. That's ridiculous. That's that's probably the most greedy, ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my entire life. And I do not agree with that. So I'll get off my high horse and show you exactly what we're going to do with these legs and how to get these out. I use a heat gun for all softening plastic purposes. Um, you can also soak these in hot water. Like if you cook or heat up hot water for about two minutes, you can soak these in it after you've heated the water up, not in the microwave, please. 
and it will soften the plastic and you can pop it out, which actually would be pretty cool um, for this kind of process, seeing that I'm doing four thigh cuts right now. You could actually soak them all in the hot water and probably pop them all out one at a time. I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to wait the entire time. You wanna bring in your pick at an angle. Be careful not to stab yourself or slip. And there you go. So come in from an angle, slowly pop it up. And you'll notice this looks worrisome to some people, um, which I could understand that. Uh, the cool thing is though, with this soft plastic, once we heat this back up, it's actually going to reshape. That's what soft plastic does. I mean, unless you go way too hot, then it can warp it. The Batman is a little bit different. As you can see, he's got sculpted on thigh armor. Now I've had some client, uh, one client actually wanted me to cut here. This is where I would normally cut the thigh mods. I don't like a high thigh mod. A high thigh mod is risky. Um, but luckily the way McFarlane has designed these uh, without a thigh cut, the, this peg goes down far enough that it will catch even up here. Generally, I would probably go down about this far. Um, it's just a nice solid piece. And I'll tell you why uh, after we get this out. It's all in the measurement. And like I said, you just spin it like a rotisserie chicken. All of them pop out the same way. I did the same thing on the, uh, what was it? The cyberpunk figures. There you go. All right, that's all four pegs removed now. So now we're gonna move back to the table and I'll show you how to do the thigh cut. So forgot to hit the record button, sorry about that. Uh, we have one more left. Like I said, you trial and error. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to soften this up the same way we did to pop the pegs out. We got a brand new razor blade there. Like I said, I already did one and forgot to hit record. I don't usually make videos over this. I usually will have a little time to snap some photos, but I felt like this was important for you guys. Okay, here's how you do a thigh cut. <laughs> Take two. We want to come in right here, right along the top of this black line, which means we're going to need to cut right here. This is a, this is a really crazy kind of cut, man. This is one of the harder ones to do though, just because it is so, it's just so delicate around the other side due to the, the angle. So you start your cut nice and flat. Just go along the black here. This is where we are now. I usually will never stop in the middle of a cut, but I'm trying to show you guys where we are. See where the blade's at. Okay, that was risky, but let's go back down and just follow the angle. And here's where things can get tricky. There is a lip on a razor blade. And when you're pressing down, it can get caught. And if you've heated this up enough, it can actually cut through the plastic as well and leave a little divot. So just be very careful. If it does start to get hung, all you have to do is be very careful. Open up the thigh just a little bit because this is already cut just enough to kind of squeeze the blade in there. Don't go too hard. You don't want to slip, cut yourself. And boom. And that is how you do the white knight thigh cut. <laughs> that is super thin. I don't like doing it this way, um, but this is the only way you can do it to keep the, the black thigh armor from being cut. I saw one uh, potential client say, dang, that's cool, but it sucks that you break up the sculpt. He's right, it does. To put these back, since this is still warm, you literally put your peg in, might need to be heated up a little more to go back in but generally it's still warm and you can just pop this in i usually keep like some uh some bigger needle node pliers and i'll push them in kind of like this 
Um, but we might need to reheat that up just because I'm trying to take my time showing you guys. But uh, actually, that might be in all the way. Yeah. Boom. So we got ourselves a nice little thigh cut there. And uh, I will have to reheat this one up and we'll pop that on. Okay, so we've got this one attached here. This is how you attach the legs. You simply put them back in. You go in from one slight angle to get the peg in the hole and then just pop it up until it clicks. And there, boom, you've got yourself a thigh mod on your Batman. Now, let's go to Joker. Joker is a little more basic. This is how you're gonna do thigh cuts on most figures that have nothing in the way, like thigh armor or pouches or what have you. This right here is the real basic easy one. I can actually heat both of these uh, legs up at the same time because these are gonna be very simple. They're, they're thinner. Usually I would like to do one at a time, but for time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and do two. All right, we've heated these up. Here is how you perform a basic McFarlane thigh cut. Once you have your pegs out and this is heated up, these guys are ready to go right now, so I'm gonna try to talk quick. You wanna measure where this peg goes in. Usually, it sits right about here. This flat part is usually barely visible. Maybe if, if not visible, I believe it sits in straight. So you can be safe in saying, let's grab our fresh blade. You can be safe in cutting right here. As you can see, it's right in the middle. So even if there's a little bit of, you got a little bit of wiggle room here. And that's what we want. So, without, with all that said, after all this is heated up, you line up your razor blade with the top of that flat line right here. And then you go in straight. Make sure you're standing above it. Got both hands on the razor blade. Go down straight and smooth. Now remember what I told you about the lip. Be careful about the lip. clean thigh cut. In case you blinked, let's try it again. The cool thing is once you get one done, you can just set this baby right next to this guy and it gives you a pretty good eyeball to it. They don't have to be perfect, perfect, unless you know you've got OCD for it, then yes, you might wanna measure a little more. But for me, this right here will be just fine. Once again, straight down. And I can feel a little more tension in it because it's been sitting here just a little bit longer and it's cooling. But still, you'll get a nice clean cut if you use a brand new razor blade. So, with these cut now, and they're still warm, you can pop, well, maybe we can. Generally, you can just pop these guys, there you go, back in. Let's take this, pop it back in. Grab your leg, pop it in, grab this leg, pop it in, and now for the pegs, like I said there's two little pegs here on the side, you grab your leg, and you just basically kind of wiggle it on until it pops. You can see right there, you can even hear it, that's how you know it's in. Do it in the second one. Come in at an angle if you need to. And you don't even need to heat these up. They just pop on really, really easy. And boom, our Joker now has thigh mods. Thigh swivel, ready to sit cross-legged. You know, like the Joker does. <laughs> I don't know, it just adds that nice little bit of range.